we're going to enhance our menu a little further now. We're going to add to it and create a drop down section. So in our code, we'll first of all start by highlighting the style tag that we temporarily added last tutorial. And we're going to get rid of that. So I'll just delete that section. And the next part we want to do is go down straight after the contact list element. And inside here, we're going to add another list element. So we've given this list element the class dropdown, which tells Bootstrap that this is going to be a dropdown series of menus. Nested inside here will be another unordered list, which will be the dropdown list. So the unordered list gets the class drop down menu. So this is the area that will now drop down whenever we click on the contact section. Before that, though, we just need to add in here a link element. And the reason we need this is because we need to have a title that appears actually in the drop down section before it goes down. So let's go ahead and add that. So we just put a hash in for the link so that it doesn't go anywhere. OK, so now as we've got that in, we've got our link. It's going nowhere. We're not actually linking to anything. It's going to toggle our drop down menu and we're going to use it to power the drop down. It's going to say social. That's going to be the link. So there's going to be a bunch of social media links below here. And after that, we then create a bold tag, which is going to have a little arrow, a carrot next to it. So if we save that and take a quick look at that in the browser. We can see that as our menu is here, we've got our social and there's our little arrow that's pointed downwards. Now we've not created the drop down yet, but we will create that just now. So let's go back in to our unordered list. And inside here, we need to add some list elements. And we've added a link there to our first social media list drop down. So I'll copy this and we'll add a couple more to see it in action. So we'll go to Twitter. And Google Plus. And finally LinkedIn. So we'll save that. Back to our menu. And now we can see there we have our drop down menu available to us with our links available inside there. And that's how we go about creating a drop down menu. So the real issue behind it is just ensure that it's a list element inside your original list. It has the class drop down. We have the drop down toggle and then the actual sub list inside of there. And that's how we go about adding the drop down list.